Hello everyone, my name is Hans Fex, and I'm the creator of the Mini Museum. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who backed the first edition of the Mini Museum. It's with your support that you've made this journey possible. I'm so excited to share the next edition with all of you. As many of you already know, the Mini Museum is designed to inspire wonder. Each item in the Mini Museum is authentic, iconic, and labeled. An entire collection of specimens encased in acrylic for display that will last many years. The successful completion of our first Kickstarter project was the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. Now we're back to continue the adventures with an all-new collection of unique curiosities from Earth and beyond. Let's take a closer look at a few of the specimens in the second edition. We begin with pieces of meteorites scientists believe originated from various locations both on and within Vesta, one of the largest asteroids in our solar system. The next specimen is Martian atmosphere. There's a fascinating article on NASA's website describing the ancient Martian atmosphere trapped within this very meteorite called Zagami. A few of the other specimens include tar from the La Brea tar pits, Bronze Age dagger, moon tree, Libyan desert glass, shipwrecked pieces of eight, fulgurlite made by lightning, Neanderthal hand axe, and bone from a Demetrodon sail. Okay, this is getting too exciting. Let's move on to something less amazing. Dinosaur skin. These aren't imprints. This is actual fossilized dinosaur skin and scales from a hadrosaur that lived over 65 million years ago. Itchy, itchy. Now, we're going to get under the skin. This rather stinky mammoth meat has been carbon dated to be 19,551 years old and comes from the leg of this mammoth. Your mini museum will contain a piece of this Ice Age beef jerky. The full list of the specimens in the second edition appears on our Kickstarter page and on our website at minimuseum.com. I think these new specimens are amazing and I really challenge myself to find new ways of improving every aspect of this project. Of course, every mini museum will be handcrafted and each specimen will be carefully prepared and placed by hand. I'll be sending backers updates so they can see how the mini museums are being made. Given the success of our first project, you may be wondering why we've returned to Kickstarter. While we have had the funds to acquire all of the specimens and prepare much of them for inclusion, we do lack the funds needed to go into production. I feel there's a level of transparency and accountability on Kickstarter that creates a tangible bond between backer and manufacturer. Our entire mini museum team found this incredibly valuable during the making of the first edition, especially when we faced challenges that required patience, dedication, and plain old elbow grease to overcome. If funding is successful, I'll have more to say about this exciting project as it progresses. But for now, I just want to say thank you so very much for taking the time to learn about Mini Museum 2. Thank you. It really does stink. I just stepped on dinosaur skin 